Okay, you guys, I'm gonna be doing a review on I See Hair Company. Um, I've been seeing a lot of reviews about it, and I wanted to give it a try since I myself have some kinky hair. And I wanted to add some length to it, and I didn't want to keep straightening my hair. So, this is the initial review. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you, as soon as the package came, I was too thirsty. So, it's not a traditional unboxing, but you're gonna get what you're gonna get. So basically what I meant by it's not a traditional unboxing is when UPS came here, I opened up everything and I already washed it and put some product in it and this is what this looks like. Imagine me with a ponytail, girl. Honestly, forget me. Imagine you with it, sis. You're gonna look amazing. This is um, the 26 inch. Um, I noticed a lot of the reviews that I saw for the Icy Hair um, Company. Everybody who bought the wig has the long hair and everybody who bought the bundles had like a very traditional short length. And I'm here to show y'all the long length with the bundles, okay? Um, yeah, so, you guys want to put hang time for the video. Why not? Um, so this is the longest length, the 20, uh, 26. And then I'll just, uh, I did 26, 22, and 24. This is the 22 inches, but this is exactly how it came um, outside of the package. I didn't wash this one, so this is exactly how it came. And you can kind of tell the difference. Washed, unwashed, let me do it better. Washed, unwashed. Um, the shipping came super quick. I overwinted it last week and I got it this week. Um, uh, the price, I believe I paid about $124 for the three bundles. And I think three bundles is enough based on the reviews that I've seen for all the other girls that wore the um, hair. Um, I think this hair will get a really poofy throughout the day because the first time I washed the hair, she was looking a little dry and she was looking a little bit frizzy and poofy. And um, this obviously still has moisture in it. I loaded it up with some conditioner. So it's a little bit more sleek looking. So I mean, I, any hair can be manipulated how you want, but again, we'll see. I'm actually putting this hair in right before the new year and I'm not gonna get, like I usually like to get hair and before I'm going somewhere, I have a couple days to manipulate and play with it, especially when I get a sew in because I got a big forehead and I need to make sure my stylist frames my face right so I'm not out here looking like a coconut, you know? I actually ended up using the leftover weft to create clip-ins to achieve the look that I was really going for. Watch to the end to see. So yes, when I tell you God makes no mistakes because he knew he had to give me this little shrug because if my ponytail was looking like this, I wouldn't know how to back, okay? I would be, hey! Okay, so the hair does not smell like corn chips, but what it does is it takes a long time to dry, so be prepared to spend a little extra time on your get ready. Um, I also want to say that if you do forget to wear your bonnet or scarf to sleep, no worries. It actually does not tangle very easily, and that I am impressed by. So I have literally washed the hair, um, and this is what it looks like as you can see. I'm in mean, for a treat. It was shedding like a fucking cat died. Excuse my language. Oh my god. It was a line, a line. My shower is it's not clogged, but baby. Alright, ladies, so once you get out of the shower, go ahead and grab your favorite curl hair products. Get it into your hair, twist it up, and that way you can go ahead and get that stretched look going on. Whatever your after shower routine is, go ahead and begin that because you have time. Um, you wanna basically let your hair dry as much as possible before going on to our next steps, which is diffusing. As I'm diffusing my hair, I am undoing my twist very gently and carefully because again, I wanna make sure that I do not do anything to disturb my curl pattern and create any unnecessary frizz. So just work around your head, get in between those curls. Uh, if 
and try your best again not to ruin your curl definition all right so for this next part we're going to begin picking at the roots you want to make sure hair again is dry because you do not want to pick and add frizz you just want to pick when it's super dry and the curls are defined so you're not ruining anything you're going to be adding body by doing this method here and i avoid doing the ends because that's where i like my curls to look defined and stretch i only tip at the um pick at the top because that's where i want all my body and volume you know all right so the way my hair is styled i actually have two clip-ins that i made which i will talk about towards the end of the video um i also would like to reference that i am five feet tall so you can get a look and see how that 26 inches looks on me so a uh, hair deal breaker for me is i need to know what i'm going to be looking like after 24 hours when it's all said and done because if you are anything like me sometimes you got those last minute plans and you don't have time for a hair malfunction so stay tuned and i will show you exactly how this hair acts up boys go day and joy Eight hours later, I have gone to work, I have ran a few errands, and this is what my hair looks like. Mm. Uh, I, you know, I just like the hair. I like it because it blends very nicely. Um, super soft. Um, it's giving me the chance to actually use my real hair in the rate of flat ironing it over and over and over and over and over again. And I was thinking about purchasing my hair. I was like, I wonder what this hair was gonna look like as time goes on throughout the day. Because I feel like everybody's hair looks good when you first do it. But how do you look at the end of the day? I was trying to see like, am I gonna be looking like a tumbleweed? What's up? And I really wanted to show you guys this because I know when I was looking at all the YouTube reviews, everybody's hair was like just now done. And I wanted to know well, what you look like after a couple hours because, you know, curly hair can work with somebody if it's the right type, you know, depending on the, not the right type, depending on the quality. And it holds up astonishingly well. Um, it's not that long looking. Uh, Would I purchase it again? Yes. Basically, how my sewing is, this is all the way back here. This is my leave out. And I actually made a clip in. So, um, I guess I could show y'all. My homemade clip in. And I have not oh. I actually, that's it without the clip in. Not much of a difference, but I just made my own clip in. It was $1.47 at the um, beauty supply store. And I just did it to add another piece because I feel like my, this hairline, my stylist thing was a little four back and I just wanted something to be a little bit more like towards the face. You feel me? Damn, my forehead is so big, and that's the issue. Um, that's the real issue. But yeah, I think um, I had the hair blends really nicely with my hair. Um, if you want to kind of check out my curl pattern, there we go. There she. Um, on this side, I actually have a lot of heat damage, so this is actually me right here. And um, still blendable. You know. 
I actually started using the Dugro stimulating oil because I'm trying to get my hair to go a little bit longer um, in the front. And um, my stylist said that, you know, these aren't edges, this is the this is break off. So I guess I gotta fix the edge. <laughs> so um, I actually need this hair to last me at least until um, it's currently. So I got this hair installed. December 31st, yes, actually on New Year's Eve. I got the hair installed on New Year's Eve um, and I needed to carry me all the way into February because I'm not buying anything I don't want, no. I need to carry, I, I need it to roll over. Um, so we'll see, I'll do this another review we'll see how it's holding on all right you guys thank you so much for watching i will be back like follow share and i will talk to you soon